Would it surprise you if I told you that contained within this very box is the most powerful computer in the world? No way. Yes way. <sighs> Introducing the human brain. I'm Tammy. I'm a neuroscientist. This means that I spend a lot of time in the lab looking at what the brain does and how this impacts our behaviours. Like, how are our memories stored in this thing and how does it make us move around? What's up with that? Just like a computer, the human brain actually works by sending electricity around itself. But unlike computers, our brains are biological or natural systems. They're made up of billions of neurons or nerve cells that communicate with each other through trillions of connections known as synapses. Your brain is one of the most complicated and fascinating systems in the whole world. It allows you to learn and think and, and feel. And at the same time, it controls all of your bodily functions without you even thinking about it. Like, you never have to think about breathing. Information travels around the human brain at about 268 miles per hour. That's as fast as the fastest train in the world. Now that's fast. The brain is also wrapped up in layers of a cling film-like material. This film stops the pointy edges of the skull from poking the brain. Ugh. The time your brain changes the most is during those early teenage years, when you start your journey to becoming an adult, otherwise known as puberty. When the brain changes, we call this pruning. Pruning is when your brain removes synapses or connections that you no longer need in order to make new connections that will be more useful for you when you're an adult. For example, if you learned a few words of French when you were a child, but never studied them again, these might be pruned away to make room for skills you actually need as an adult, say, driving a car. If pruning had to be summed up in one simple phrase, it'd be use it or lose it. And pruning is no simple process either. This transformation brings an explosion of new activities, new experiences, new feelings. This is why teens kind of act funny. The mums and dads of teens often complain that they make poor decisions, that they get angry and they never get out of bed. And it's no wonder they're sleepy. Pruning happens most when we're asleep and it requires a lot of energy from the body. It's really tiring. Now, because the prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed in a young teen, we rely more so on an area of the brain called the limbic system. Let's take a look. Right there, the limbic system, otherwise known as the lizard brain. This means a teenager's feelings may be heightened, sometimes leading to anger and confrontation. It's also the part of your brain that makes you feel fear and shame. Like, oh, I'm ashamed of wearing these glasses. <laughs> anyway, word of advice. When your mum and dad say that you sleep too long, that you can't make a decision and that your tone is wrong, here's what you say. It's not my fault. I'm just pruning. 